What is a NIC? NIC stands for Network Interface Controller, but you may even hear people reference them as a network interface card or even a network adapter. It's a piece of hardware inside your computer that connects your device to a network, allowing it to communicate with the network like letting you access the internet or share files and printers with other computers on the same network. And it controls how data is sent and received over a network. If you look at your desktop or laptop computer, you will find a cable often referred to as a network cable that is plugged into your device. This is normally an RJ45 connector that looks like this. Now that port that you plug your cable into is part of a card or circuit board which is the network interface controller. In the old days, not every computer had network capabilities, so you had to purchase a network card, plug it into your motherboard's expansion slot, and then your computer would have that port to connect a network cable to. Nowadays, it's pretty standard that desktop and laptops come standard with a network adapter that is either plugged directly into your device's motherboard or on smaller or newer devices, it could be built directly into the motherboard itself. But Mr. Long, there's no port like this on my phone or tablet. And so does that mean that this device does not have a NIC? The answer to this is no, because there are two types of network interface controllers, wired and wireless. A wired NIC connects to your network using an Ethernet cable or network adapter, which is what we've discussed already. On the other hand, a wireless NIC allows your computer to connect to the network via Wi-Fi. You can find wireless NICs in pretty much every mobile device which includes your laptop, so technically your laptop has multiple types of NICs available. Wired NICs often provide faster and more stable connections because they plug directly into the network, while wireless NICs can be more convenient, but they can be affected by things like walls or interference. Although your desktop computer may not have a wireless NIC, you can get a mobile or wireless dongle which plugs into your USB port and connects the device to a mobile or Wi-Fi network. There are also fiber optic NICs which use fiber optic cables for high-speed connections. These are usually used in advanced computer environments like data centers. Now I'm going to tell you about MAC addresses or Media Access Controller. It is a code that is used to identify each device on a network. The MAC address is globally unique, so no two devices can have the same MAC address. When you connect your device to the network, your network router or switch will register the MAC address with a specific IP address so that your network knows which device it needs to send data to. So people often associate the MAC address with the device, but the actual MAC address is associated with your network interface controller. Every NIC has its own MAC address, so one device may have multiple MAC addresses. For example, one from its wired NIC and one from its wireless NIC. This makes sense, as your device can connect to the network in both ways, and it helps other computers know exactly where to send and receive information. Now let's talk about NIC specifications. They are often rated based on their speed. Common speeds are 100 megabits per second, 1 gigabit per second, which are common in modern computers, and even up to 10 gigabits per second for really high performance networks. The faster the NIC, the faster data can move to and from your computer, which is especially important for things like streaming video, downloading files, or online gaming. Other specifications you may look for are whether it's wired or wireless, and what kind of ports it supports, either Ethernet or fiber optic. Some advanced NICs have built-in encryption or security features to help protect the data as it travels over the network. And NICs also work closely with network protocols, like TCP IP or Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol to help send and receive data in small chunks called packets. It's these packets that make up your emails, the videos you stream, and websites you visit. So in summary, the NIC is what connects your computer to a network. Whether it's wired or wireless, its job is to help send and receive data quickly and efficiently. They are essential to connecting to the internet and other networks. They are responsible for data transmission speeds, making sure that your connection is fast and reliable. So the next time you go online, remember the little device that makes it all possible, the mighty NIC. For more computer terms as well as help with your theory exams, make sure that you subscribe to at Miss Long Computer Terms. Also follow our other channels at Miss Long RT and Cat and follow on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.